So let me talk about Supermensch real quick. Um, Supermensch is a film about a guy named Shep Gordon who is a uh, manager of different music acts, huge music acts. And um, it's just a film about how he became this big manager and all the different things that he's done with his life. So he started out um, he started out just as like a – not interested in entertainment at all. He, he actually went – I think he was at like a correctional facility. Like he was a guard at a correctional facility. And the other guards there made it clear that they didn't want him there, that he was, you know, he was not, a, you know, the person they wanted to be a prison guard with them. So he left and he went to L.A. and he wandered into this hotel that happened to have Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and a couple of other big music acts just hanging out there. This was like a big hotel that they would just hang out at. Um, and so he got to know all these people and – you know, as time went on, they sort of like – he wasn't a musician and – but he was hanging out with musicians. So he sort of became the manager for these musicians and he, he says – and he says very clearly in the film, the job of the manager is very simple. First job, always get the money. Second job, remember to get the money. Third job, don't forget to always remember to get the money. <laughs> so he was good at that part of it. Like he was good at sort of setting up gigs and promoting people and getting – people into clubs and getting paid and that sort of thing. Um, and so the first sort of – the first, the film focuses a lot on his relationship with Alice Cooper. And Alice Cooper is um, one of – you know, it was his first big success in the music industry. And so he built up Alice Cooper as this sort of like – you know, a lot of the sort of weird things that Alice Cooper did were like ideas that he and Shep Gordon came up with together. So, mm. you know, the whole – it's, Biting the head off a chicken or whatever. Yeah, it's like, like real theatrical. Very like, theatrical. Yeah. That's that's sort of all, what he he helped him come up with. And they tell he has all these great stories about all these different acts and Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and you know tons of different acts and um, everyone knows Shep Gordon. Like he's very well liked in the music industry. You know he manages a lot of acts and um, you know it talks about how his career went on and how he eventually stopped managing music acts so much and he started managing chefs. Um, he got really into cooking and he started to get to know a lot of the, you know, sort of big name chefs at a time when they just weren't really getting paid anything. Um, and so uh, like all these chefs kind of came to him all at once and said, we can't get paid for what we're doing. Please help us. And so that's when he invented the idea of the celebrity chef. Wow. And he sort of helped them all get shows and he helped Emerald get a show and he you know, helped uh, Wolfgang Puck get famous and all these different famous chefs that you know of now, you know of them because of this guy. Hmm. Um, and it really talks just about how he's kind of a father figure to a lot of um, a lot of big name acts and a lot of celebrities and he has these – gatherings at his house in Hawaii where people can just show up and uh, hang out and have dinner. And as long as you don't talk about like business deals, you can hang out and, um, you know, just all sorts of different stuff. Um, just talking about how really great a person he is. And um, it is directed by Mike Myers. This is a, his first uh, film that he's directed. And it's really well done. The only – the thing that's interesting from, a, a you know, a guy who's ostensibly a comedian making a documentary – he inserts a lot of really funny um, – uh, what do you call them? Uh, dramatizations. Most documentaries would not do that. They would sort of like just find a way to have like a picture, sort of slowly zoom in right. or something. He just goes all in and just throws in a bunch of um, – uh, a bunch of uh, um, uh, dramatizations of like a guy dressed up as Shep Gordon and the guy uh, – God, what's the guy's name? Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, yeah, I'll never, I, I won't remember it. Um, but uh, really great film. Um, so, so is really Mike Myers it. in the dramatizations himself? No, he isn't. Yeah, but okay. he does. He is interviewed in the film. Okay. So he does. I don't know who interviewed him, or maybe he interviewed himself. But <laughs> um, he is in the film as well. Okay. Yeah, and he walked close by enough on the way to the Q and A that I could have tripped him if I really wanted to, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I did not trip you, Mike Myers. Um, right on. So that's Supermensch. Um, Do you know if it's picked up? I have no idea. Okay. I imagine it will be because it played at Toronto and yeah. was. And it only screened played. once at South by. Did it? Yeah. So, so, oh, so it, I caught the only screen. that means it did. Yeah. yeah. Or it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.